Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. You have created a variable in SSIS and you have used that variable in data flow task in row count transformation. If you want to display or see that value of variable after data flow execution, how will you do that? There are multiple ways to do that. I'm going to explain two of them. So first of all, you can use the script task right after the data flow task and you can uh, write a, a statement say message box dot show and then uh, inside that you that will be uh, your variable value you will be saying dts dot variables and in the parentheses you will uh, put the name of the variable and the dot value dot uh, to string so that line you will write it there and the, when uh, uh, your data flow will finish and it comes to the execute uh, uh, when it comes to the script task uh, then it will um, uh, pop up uh, a message window and show us the count there the next part what you can do you can enable the breakpoint and by enabling breakpoint you can see the values of the variable so let me show you I have written a post and I don't want to do a demo here so I'm I'm gonna just uh, let you sh uh, sh uh, see this post and you can go back and uh, perform by yourself so you have variables here and then what you do uh, you you have tasks uh, let's say we have data data flow task and then uh, we have next task here we can uh, put uh, the break one break point after the data flow task and uh, that then uh, we can select break, break uh, uh, when the container or uh, receive the pre-execution event so that we can select once it is selected and we run our SSIS package we will see something like this uh, this arrow in the red uh, circle um, the yellow arrow in the red circle that's what we will see and then we will go to the debug windows and locals once we hit that it will open a new window and that will look like this window so locals inside the locals you will see the values of those variables you have to click on the plus sign and then it will expand it and you will see the value of that variable so two ways you can use a script task or you can use the breakpoints in SSIS to see the value of variable while you are debugging your SSIS package thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video